Yo, what's poppin'? It's your girl Kamaya. Check it out right now at thisis50.com. Man, I just heard Prince die. Yeah, so man, t let's talk Oakland, man. Because I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you 175%. Him, C. Hammer do not get the credit that he deserved for no, that that's, shit. That nigga is epic. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he was the first hip hop artist to break into pop besides LL Cool J. Mm. And I feel like he catapulted so far to the top so quickly, like kind of like Lady Gaga, it was like inevitable for you to kind of like. Because mm. you didn't did everything in like the first, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, what? Where do you go, right? Exactly. And then it was like, he started feeling the pressure of like urban music at that time because everybody was so gangster. Mm. He, he ended up on death row. And man, you know, that shit, I like, enjoyed Pumps in the Bumps. That's pumps my in shit. The bump. that, I love that shit. My manager tell you that like, that's my shit. The video, everything. You know do you what? got it in your phone right now? No. This I don't got no hit. music in my phone though, except for me because I had like my album because I had to like go through and see if this was the right cut. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? But other than that, like I don't have nobody's music in my phone. You, you know what the dopest thing about him is? Like he was not afraid to put his people on. He put air. He, he should put, have been. He put too many motherfuckers on. He, he did, but you know what? He he paid him too much. He paid him way to really try to. But take you know what? I feel like with the industry, like I feel like you know what? A lot of people have like debt, but it's like when you piss a motherfucker off, that's when it comes and bite you in the ass. Mm. I feel like he just pissed somebody off because he was like, I was watching his behind the music, which you barely can find. Like I just, it took so many years for this shit to be on YouTube because mm. I've been looking for years. Like damn, where is this? And it just happened to pop up like a year and a half, two years ago. Behind the music, get your shit together. And. On his shit, it was like, oh, I bought this house and this car, and it was like, I was calculating how much he said he was making a year. Plus, I'm like, this nigga was already spending way too much money. You just pissed somebody off. Because mm -hmm. if you got all these people, then you paying like $150,000 a month to just like supply, plus these houses and these cars, and you made such and such dollars, you was already in debt. But it's like, you pissed somebody off, and now it's like, yeah, you actually huh, owe us this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's all it really be, because I feel like a lot of people gonna always owe the label, but it's like how cool you are and if they fuck with you or not. It's right, right, bite right. You in the fucking ass. So with this being said, are you trying to know what I'm saying get him on your project? That strong, should be, it could be dope. A strong possibility, you know. I feel like niggas need that credit. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm not one of those people who don't give credit where it's due. And I feel like for him to be like situated around me, like in the same neighborhood, everything, it's a strong possibility I might work with him. Word, word, word. So, like, you talk to me about you when the first time you ever met Hammer. I've never met him. You never met him? Never. I got a chance to meet Hammer, man. Like, uh, what, two times last, was that last year or the year before last year? That was two years ago? Yeah. yeah man, he was such a cool motherfucker, yeah, man. Really he's somebody, he's one of them celebrities where you, you, he's really, like, what you thought he was going to be. Just and he's a real dude. And, you, and you know, he got that bread, too. You know he owns some of Twitter, right? No, really? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> hey, so let's talk about your music, man. Like, let, let, let's start with the whole cell phone. You got the Zach Morris thing going on. I see you with your own personal cell phone yeah, and yeah. whatnot. Like, what, what about the 80s attracts you? Now, what happened was, this is how the phone came about. Like, I already, like, indulged in the 90s and shit. But the phone came from my, I was in a group. And we had a song called Beeper. And I had ordered the phone and the Beeper, you feel me? But we never ended up shooting damn video. So I just kept it. I'm like, I like this shit. It's dope, you feel me? And then... My hair and everything came about because I was like trying to figure out like what I wanted to do because I was like, I don't want to kind of follow Nikki because I feel like that's the blueprint every girl kind of tries to follow. And I was going to cut my hair because it's totally my favorite group. The days low fucking hit whore with mm. the short. I'm like, goddamn motherfucking shit. Damn, what am I going to do? So I'm in my room and it's like a picture of me as a kid with my hair like this and a bob. Mm. I'm like, fuck it, I'm finna do that. My brother like, do it. So I do it and that's just what became of it. And it just all felt authentic to me and it fit, you know what I'm saying? With the phone, the hair, everything, it just gives you a certain like essence of hip hop. And mm. it's like, it worked for me. Man, so how are people like embracing you, man, uh, as far as the industry go? I feel like they love this shit because I feel like people love the Bay, uh -huh. but they've never had an individual to like, from like strictly from the middle of the bullshit to like, kick in for mm. a long time like the last motherfucker you had was short like the real like in the middle of the ghetto because you know you got people from oakland but it's oakland and it's oakland mm. where the niggas at and i feel like i'm coming from the part where niggas know and it's like oh shit we winning and i feel like that's why the city's behind it because it's like we ain't had nobody who really rode for us in a long time and i always let it be known like i'm from fucking oakland now. how the group is treating you it's you know fun fun <laughs> It's fun, you know. Give me a crazy groupie story. Come on now. I mean, I don't really kind of indulge in it. Like, he'll tell you, like, I don't like going out. Mm. And I'm not, that's not my thing. But, you know, people, you know, I get crazy shit. Like? Come on, talk to us. Give us I the think jokes. it's just more so weird for me, like, how 
perverse the girls is. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. bitch, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, throw me off. Like, you know, I expect the dudes to be mad thirsty because that's just nigga or. But when it's bitches, it's like, look, he, he crazy. But when it's bitches, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Because <laughs> they like say wild shit to me. Like, like what? Like, I just can't say it. Cause yes, it's you like, can. This bitch can say shit. Say that shit. It's nigga. just crazy. Like, I'll be showing him shit like, look at this shit. Like, hold on, they be singing you pussy pics in the inside your DM. Absolutely not, and don't fucking say that because I don't want this shit. So no, like I'm. You not get a lot of dick pics inside your DM. I mean, I'm not gonna say that either because I don't want that shit. Like, I just feel like that shit is beyond me. It blows me. I just feel like they literally say shit that like, mm. and I feel like what it is though, it's like a part of me because I'm kind of like gangster and I'm a tomboy, so they be like, maybe she. And it's like nah. Mm. Nah, don't fucking. It don't fly or apply, like, but they be with it, like, and committed, trying to get it, and I ain't, mm -mm. You ain't with it. You mm -hmm. say strictly dickly, huh? Exactly. Like, I they be, dig it's, it. it's crazy to me, and I'm like, damn, everybody looking for a come up. Even the bitches now. What? Trying to get bitches. They like, anything. Let's get her. Yeah. She, she look like she got something. Yeah. Like, what Come the on, fuck? man. A get woman to try to get pregnant by another woman to come up. Oh, my goodness. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? Set it off. No. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Isn't it that crazy in your life? <laughs> All right, Cleo. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I like the Chris style on the popcorn. Like that's that's some good shit. That's some. It's good some shit. great shit. You're that's, missing that's out. That's just if like you with your noodles when popcorn. you put the hot sauce in. Your I do that too. Yeah, hey, don't give up on love. Hey, put some on, some on somebody's book so they can go put some hot sauce no, on their shit. No, it's like, that shit is like a grow, growing up in the hood. That's a rite of passage to make a fucking spread. Yes. You better put that sheets and shit yeah. in your top ramen. Sprinkle that hot sauce, cut yes. up some shit, put some Dorito. That's a rite of passage. Dorito? What? Doritos? Oh, you, ain't, you, you ain't never had a, a real Nigga, spread. you gluttonous. That's <laughs> disgusting. No, it's, it's you gotta Dorito. try. Dorito. You gotta try a real spread. Cut up some onions. Make that shit a meal. Oh, the uh, onions? And I can see how that could possibly... It's a delicacy But in Doritos? Like, yes. the, it ain't easy being cheesy and shit? Put it in there. Put it inside my, 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 my noodles. Your top ramen. Wow. I thought I was doing something putting shrimp in there now. I thought I was, you know what I'm saying, stepping my game up. What the fuck you making, fettuccine? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm trying to do what the shit say. It's ain't shrimp. Oh on my the God. back, I'm I, trying to put I some real that's shrimp the, in You talking about me, I ain't never heard nobody take it that far. Like, I'm put some shrimp real shrimp in Hey, yo, Yvette, do you put some shrimp inside your noodles sometimes? You know, <laughs> if that got to look like shit, I wouldn't be caught dead eating noodles in the first place, <laughs> motherfucker. You got real, where is the seasoned salt? You up there using noodle salt on my motherfucking rice? Season salt on rice, that's Come crazy. on, man. What the hell is wrong with you? You put seasoned salt on your rice? Uh, yeah, I put season salt on my rice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That, that sounds crazy to you, huh? But Doritos inside your goddamn Because it's like, we know, you know, I'm from a place where you put milk, butter, and like sugar on your rice. Like, Milk inside my rice. Yeah, like it's like it tastes my granny. That's the way she makes it. Yo, Kamaya, you nasty. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. It's southern de delicacies. It's some southern man, shit. Man, it's a nigga out here that like this kind of shit, so you're gonna be all right. Is this your boyfriend? That's my manager. Oh, they said that's my man manager. <laughs> Mm -hmm. no. That's who you be playing Mario Kart with right there. Hey, because he's my manager. Uh -huh. and he's at my house. Yeah, yeah, you feel a certain kind of way. I see you, but the way you look at him and you blink when I say that and shit. That's why y'all so tight and shit. Y'all look like y'all like the same shit. This your biggest fan. I know. I of course, he's my manager. Mm -hmm. Fuck, he has his job. He mm -hmm. got him. How you gonna sell it if you don't believe in it? Uh, hey, most definitely. I can dig it. Yeah, that's, that's, can... My, that's my guy. We what kind it. of guys are you into? I just like a motherfucker who know who they are. Like, are you real with yourself? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Own who you are. Don't be a follower. Be kind of respectful, but be a man. Be kind of like, respectful. I dig that. I no, like not all. Because, you know, I feel like a you man know. gonna be a man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I want you to be yourself as well as, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I got a strong personality. So if you like a bitch, I'ma like, ugh, like be turned off. Like you just let me. I don't me. mind telling you this. Hey, sit your ass down. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. Like be a man. I'll like, tell you that in front of your daddy. Like, you ain't gonna talk to me like that. Not yeah. like, okay. Like it's like, ugh. Yeah, super soft ass yeah, nigga. Like, hey, mm, come on, say it with your chest. I don't man. like that. Like I like the rough neck buff. I don't need a rough neck nigga that can status. Okay. Need, like what are them? What are them? I don't need no fucking punk ass. Ugh, like you are so lame. Like wow. Mm -mm. Man, it's funny you should say that because it leads me to right into my next question about a record that you about to put out with uh Drake. Now a lot of people say Drake's soft and everything. Now before you had back, you got you got your feature and everything. You know, did you feel like yeah, you know what? I couldn't date Drake, but I like he. I love that he got bars. I feel like he like the fine line. The fine line. Yeah, because he's like. Sometimes he don't say fuck these bitches, but his music he like fuck these bitches in certain ways. And on the other side, he like 
I love you, girl. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he walks the straight now. Mm-hmm. He's right in the middle. Word, word. I did Drake. Drake is a real lyricist. Yeah, I feel dope. like, and I respect him for being himself. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't afraid to be like, I love you. Bitch, come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so many words. What you doing? Come back. And I respect that because I feel like so many dudes nowadays be like, fuck these women, bitches ain't shit. But then you meet them behind the scenes and they married, got kids, and hella shit. And it's like, why you just don't say you married and got kids? My wife. Because you wasn't going to give me no pussy if I had told you that shit in the first place. And that's another part. You yeah, want to cheat? Whip, let me ask you this question. <laughs> If if I if I if I told you I had all that stuff, would you be down to give me some pussy? Nah, because you know what type of woman I am. I'm the type of woman who respects another woman's situation. Okay. So if I know a man got a woman, I wouldn't even approach you. And if you approach me out of respect for her, I wouldn't indulge in that shit. And that's why I'm gonna keep on lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this, man. You probably missed out on some of the best dick you ever had in your goddamn life. And you Fucking with this right. nigga right here. But that. That's my manager. Uh-huh. And second of all, the dick wasn't worth it if you smashed the homie. I don't want it. See, see, you need to try some dick that your homie had and see why what everybody's talking about. No, that, see, that's all that is. For, you know what I noticed about uh, girls too? It's like promotion. They be trying to make it seem like the dick way bomber than what it is, just to make it seem like they got it so good. And it's like all you're doing is setting up the play for your girlfriend to come in and try to, you know what I'm saying, indulge in you, what you got going on. Well, don't Little nobody do want know. nobody that, that nobody don't want. That ain't even it. I just feel like when you keep planting seeds, the shit hatching and makes a bitch curious. Mm. If you say so much now, she want to know what it is about you or what it is about him that make you, you know what I'm saying? You, just, you ain't never been with a girl in your life. One time in college when y'all was eating some Doritos. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. Okay. I feel like I've had experience because it's like, you know, girls, you know, you go through that phase when you're curious. And I figured out I don't fucking like bitches. Uh. What happened? But that's just me being honest. You know, I feel like most girls don't own this shit. I had a situation I kind of liked. I'm like, you like, but where did the dick at though? No, it's like, I think I kind of like you, like you. Then it's like the emotions that you deal with, with the, like, and it's like, I don't. mm -mm. Ah, I got you. I'm straight, strictly dickly. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not into, like, I'm not going to eat your cooch. I'm not going to, like, how is this going to work? Like, Mm. I think I just like your personality a little more than regular, but not like excessively enough to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. So let's talk about the project. A good night in the ghetto. Okay. Okay. Amazing. How did you come up with that? Literally because I wanted it to be about having a good time in the ghetto. Because mm. I feel like there's just so much poverty, drama, death and shit. I wanted to create a soundtrack that you can have a good night in the ghetto to. Mm. And I feel like I successfully did it and executed that shit perfectly. Mm. Now how long did it take you to complete the project? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, because I had like four songs, four, five songs done already. And I did like the last nine or whatever case may be in a week. Mm. Like I went in one week with the producers and then the next week I went in and recorded them. So. Excellent. And the single that you're you leading off with? That was already recorded. Okay. That one in Out the Bottle, like I had Out the Bottle a year before I shot the video. Mm. And how does it feel I had like right after I shot Out the Bottle. So I had the song that's leading right now since July it was recorded. Yeah. And I feel like people don't even understand, like, when you listening to it, what I'm saying. Like, you just like what I'm saying so much. Like, ah, you just, ah, does it feel? You ain't realizing you making it cool to be a broke motherfucker. Mm. You admitting you a broke motherfucker every time you scream that. Mm. And that's what I wanted it to be because I feel like so many people come to get me. I got a Ferrari. I got a Lambo with the Broly. And it's like, no, you don't. Mm. Like, it's cool not to have that shit. Like, you ain't got to have that shit to be popular. And I'm proving it. Like, you really don't. I thought you was a stylist, man. You got a real cool little style, man. I just know what I want and what I want to do. And it's crazy because I had those shirts in my closet for like three years. Mm. That's why I changed my clothes so many times in that video. Mm. I'm like, man, I got to get this shit out. Like, we got to put it in this video. Because I was at my house and I shot it because I literally had another video, but we never put it out. Mm. And I had to reshoot. And I had like, in my mind, I always set a deadline. I'm like, no, we got to get some new shit out. So I'm mm. like, just come to my house. We're going to figure it out. We're going to loop it. I and I like it. picked out every outfit. Like, oh, I'm about to wear this with this, 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 this. So I could just get this shit out of my closet because it's like, I'm like an eBay thrifter because I like the like 90 shit. So I just like or, order some shit and they just be sitting in there. And I just like literally wore every single thing that was just like in my way. Like I just wanted that the way. So you see like the, the cardigan and you see like the old living color type sweater. And then you see me in the Queen Latifah like color black shirts or some shit. Like I was like the Fresh Prince type. I was trying to get that shit out. I, I, like, I had on the Patrick Ewins, like hella old school, just crazy shit. Like I just wanted to just. Well, you know, this is this is 50.com. I can't let you leave here without, you know, letting us borrow a couple bars. He told me to rap, so I'm going to rap. 
and go, I'd rather stay true to me and be paid than hide all my skills or rap with cliches. So I'ma wear my hair in a bob with these braids. So I don't blend in with the thoughts of these days. How many bitches I'ma see with a blind weed? That's not me. Talking about that she's the baddest bitch that I've seen. Bitch, please get original. You looking pitiful. Style might be nice, but visually I ain't feeling you. Killing you. Hoes whole vibe with this dope rhyme. Labels looking at me like they found a fucking gold mine. Don't lie. Me and you together, we just don't vibe. If you want some dope rhymes, Maybe I ghost right, period. Y'all ain't on the hype, I'm on. Plus, y'all not even nice. Yo, who hype these hoes? And now, nah, this ain't no diss. This some real ass shit to let you know. I don't fuck around. I do that shit. God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now, shit. Yeah, you, 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 I ain't got to tell you nothing else, man. Y'all go get the project. When is it available? <laughs> it's already available. Good night in the ghetto. You can just get it at iskamayah.com. I T S K A M A I Y A H.com. There it is. Well, like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something you gotta be, man. We are when we out of here. Do I have something in mind? Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Y'all go to commercial. Yeah.